Well, tomorrow night, the sky over Ford Field will light up for a special Detroit Lions drone show that will help kick off their season ahead of their first game with the L.A. Rams. This is so cool. Yeah. A similar show occurred when the Lions took on the San Francisco 49ers for the NFC Championship. And we wanted to learn what goes into making this happen. That's right. So joining us now live is Matt Quinn, owner and CEO of Great Lakes Drone Company, which runs Starlight Aerial Productions, who will do the show tomorrow night. Thank you so much for being with us. We are super excited. Mm -hmm. Not a problem. And we're excited to be coming back to Detroit as well. Yeah. So obviously we have to start with the basic question. How is this done with all these drones at once? It seems like such a huge feat. Yeah, so the basics is basically um, the entire show is pre-programmed. So our designers spent about uh, 80 hours um, building the show that uh, everybody's going to see tomorrow night. And uh, they kind of all have their place of where they're going to be. And um, it's all based on uh, GPS. So how do you come up with the initial idea and then make this all come to life? Mm -hmm. Well, we work very, very closely with uh, the Lions staff, and um, basically what happens is we develop this storyboard, and then there's a lot of back and forth of trying to finalize it between our flight times and what's going to look good in the sky and what the message is and what we want to give uh, to the audience and to the community and everything and stuff, and then we come up with our final storyboard and build it out. This is so cool. So I'm going to put you put a little pressure. Is there anything you can tell us a little hint you can give to us about when it comes to tomorrow night's show? Um, I think the only thing that I'm going to say is more. Ooh, oh. I like that because we watched it last year. Yeah. Um, uh, for the NFC championship. Yeah, so that was super... really cool. Uh, OK, so how many drones in all will be used for the show? Uh, and uh, have you ever had like a mishap where one drone is like gone out of formation? Well, I think every drone light show operator out there will say that uh, there's there's always that possibility. There's always that complication. Um, basically, imagine trying to run, you know, 400 or 500 cell phones at the same time, all running the same app. You know, that's basically what we're doing. So we have, you know, 400 something drones in the sky. We have uh, um, four motors on each one of those drones, a battery on each one of those drones at any given time, regardless of how much maintenance you do and how much pre-flight stuff that you do. A battery could go bad. A motor could go bad. Um, that's why we have all the safety requirements that we have. Um, one of the big things that we're going to ask everybody that's coming out to the show is that, um, you know, there's a lot of drone operators that um, come out and film these shows. And um, we specifically um, don't make a huge deal about uh, not doing that. Um, last year, when or not last year, earlier this year, when we were out there and did this show, we tracked 92 other drones flying around filming our show. All that we do is we ask that if you do show up and you do fly a drone, follow the rules and stay far away from our show. Um, so that way we can operate our show safely. Thank you for pointing that out because I think a lot of people might think, oh, this is cool. Let me take my drone out there. And that's not what we want. And we want them to stay far, far away, right? Right. Yeah, exactly. that's a good point, right? We, well, have, yeah. we, have, we have that safety perimeter that we build with uh, the audience and everything else just in case one of those things happen. Yeah. And obviously, if someone else flies a drone into our show, that's a big problem. That's so. a huge problem. Uh, yeah. There was a drone incident at the Green Day concert. That's right. That we about that's right. So I'm really one glad drone. that you, Yeah, one drone. I'm really glad that you brought that up. Yep. But finally, what's your... Pardon? Uh, that's one of the reasons why I brought it up, because yeah. I was aware of that. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you for that. So finally, what's your suggestion when it comes to viewing? Do you want to be further away to get the full effect? Do we want to get a little up close and personal? What's your recommendation? So um, the biggest thing that we tell everybody is it's pixel art. So the further away you are, the better it actually looks in the sky. Uh, we were asking everybody to say, uh, stay southeast of uh, Madison Street. Um, as long as you got a good view of the skyline over the uh, Comerica Park and Ford Field, you'll be able to see it. Some of the best photos that we saw from the last time that we were there actually came from Windsor. So um, as long as you can see the sky up there, um, the further away, the better the view is, the better pictures that you'll get. 
Um, by all means, uh, we'll be out there all day setting up. Um, last time we, uh, we allowed people on the sidewalks to look at our setup. Um, we love educating the public. Uh, we don't have a problem with that as long as you kind of stay out of our way and stay on the sidewalks. So. Sounds good. Matt, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We can't wait. Mm -hmm. Not a problem. We look forward to being there. All right. Many more years to come, hopefully. Well, remember, you can see the drone show tomorrow night at 845 over Ford Field. That's 845 p.m., of course. Mm -hmm. People going to see the drone show must park southeast of Madison Street for safety. That's good to take yeah. into consideration. Yeah, we need that info. All right. Yeah. We will be right back, everyone.